going on, kings and queens? Royal Gilly here from from Team Royal Gaming. So, uh, man, I got some news. You know, just shit's been going on in my life. A lot of things. I haven't I been uploading so much because I've been just fucking working at IHOP. I've been serving fucking meals, taking people's orders, trying to get some tips and whatnot. Still training, so I'm not getting the tips yet. But, you know, I'm on my way. I'm going to work my way up. You know, general manager. That's the goal. <laughs> uh, actually, two things. Um, I got in trouble again, so I'm going to be gone for six days. And gone as an in the box in the slammer. And on top of that, I lost my girlfriend. So, you know, I, good things leave and good things come. That's the way I think it works. Um, but to celebrate the fact that I'm uploading and, like, a cheers to, like, the future... Thought I'd answer this question because it's kind of it's kind of funny. This guy with a really long, obnoxious name says, "If you had to fuck two girls whose ages added up to twenty, what would their ages be?" Fuck, that is fucked up. Because no matter what, I mean, there's no way to slice it either way. You're gonna slice it right down the middle and have to have two really shitty, uncomfortable sex experiences. Or you could have, like, a good one, and then one that you just have to bury the fuck back in your brain and forget about, and probably have to go to some therapy for, and maybe jail. Who knows? But if I were to split that up between 20, that's a tough one, you know? 30 would be a little bit easier to deal with, because I could just... I could do 15. But, um... Fuck. Honestly, I'd go 18, or 19 and 1. Because the 19-year-old girl, you know, has got some experience, she knows, you know, what the fuck is going on. And I wouldn't want to do, like, 16 and 4, because 16 is, like, the age. 17 is the age, you know, that I'm shooting for. But if the girl's, like, four years old, it's like, she's going to know what the fuck happened. And you're fucked. If the girl's one, you're just a fucked up human being for the rest of your life, and you'll probably not want to live anymore. But at least she's not going to have to know what the fuck ever happened, okay? And then you get to go and fuck a 19-year-old girl. But after that, it's like... If I had to ever, 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 like, had to for some whatever fucking reason gun held to my head, commit sexual intercourse with a one-year-old, it's like, I wouldn't want to live anymore, honestly. I really wouldn't. I couldn't live with myself. But 19 and 1 is the one I'd split it, so I could at least pound out with a 19-year-old beautiful lady before I, before I'm out, you know? But today I wanted to tell you guys a story because it's interesting, it's unique, and I think it's like something fucking cool that happened it's not it's just crazy because you may look at the title and be like oh that's cool not many people do that but there's more to the story that make it fucking wild okay i was in school one day and all of a sudden you hear over the announcement lockdown lockdown and you know what a lockdown is right i live in colorado so they take guns really seriously i mean the whole country does now because of all the shit that's happened but you know columbine and shit as in colorado but there was you know lockdown Meaning there's fucking shit outside that's bad and mostly guns. So we are locked down. And it was right before lunch. So I was fucking pissed. I was ready to leave. Because my day ended after lunch. And it was kind of like, fuck, we got locked down. And we didn't know what was going on. So we're able to walk around the school a little bit. Or it wasn't a lockdown. It was a lockout. Which is like, you're not like hiding in the classroom and shit. You just can't leave the building because there's shit going on outside where they don't want the kids to get you know hurt or anything. So, we're able to walk around the school and shit, nobody can leave though, because there is something going on, and later we find out the school next to us, it was a middle school, that there was apparently a kid with a gun there, so we're like, oh, we're probably fine, you know, everybody's a little spooked out and shit when there's a lockdown, you're like, oh, is this gonna be that fucking day where, like, like, that's on the fucking news and shit, and it's just gonna be a big fucking deal, we didn't know, but... After we learned that it was just a middle school and that there might be a kid there, we're like, oh, we're probably fine. This is fucking boring. So, this was back in the day when I was blazing the fuck up, right? I had a friend who had one of these little pens. One of these nice little pens. Like, weed is good, but dabs are quicker. It was a wax pen, right? So, can't leave. We would have been smoking weed right now anyways, but we can't. Because we're in this fucking building, but my dude's got a wax pen. So we are in the cafeteria. Most people are in classrooms, the library, not in the cafeteria. We are huddled in this little corner of the room, this big-ass cafeteria room, right? And we're like, let's get caked up. Let's get baked. Let's fucking do it. So we had this little pen. My friend had it, and there was like four of us. 
And we just started hitting that shit. And then you got to hold that shit. You know, blow it away. And after a little bit, I was like, after hitting that shit a few times, I started getting paranoid. Because I was like, this shit's going to smell like... Dabs fucking smell like weed. They do. I mean, not as much and shit. Like, if you were blazing a bowl back there, you'd be fucked. But, like, I don't know. We were doing our best. And as soon as I hit that shit a few times, I dipped the fuck out of there. Because I was just like, hell no. I was fucking smoking in school. This is bad. Like, I got in trouble for smelling in class. Not really in trouble. But, you know, it was kind of a big deal. If I was sitting here smoking... Like, I would be fucked. Fucked, fucked, fucked. But I got to smoke in school. And it's just like, during a fucking lockdown while some gun shit's going on, it's just like, peace. Peace and zen. And, uh, got to hit the dad pen a few times. Shit was cool. Shit was fun. And I got to be baked, and then I got to leave eventually. And it ended up, the kid just had, like, an airsoft gun or something in his backpack and told people that he had a gun. Some stupid fucking shit. So don't ever fuck with your school and saying you have a gun. Because they take that shit seriously and you'll get fucked. Uh, but yeah. I got baked in school. Smoked. Want to let you guys know what's up. Hit comments with a few questions. Let me know what you want to know. What you want to talk about. I got ideas flowing through the brain. Regardless. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you, kings and queens. Goodbye!